Hi there, it's Tara, and today we're going to take a deeper look at Seesaw. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking our logo during the video. Also, give us feedback by clicking the pop-up cards in the upper right-hand corner. So by now you've probably changed the learning that's going on in your classroom by using Seesaw. Today I'm going to show you how to create an activity. You're going to start by hitting the plus sign and share activity. From here you have access to pre-made activities within the Seesaw app or program. When you find one you want to use, tap view, and you can choose to customize it and change the directions uh, and make any customizations that you would like. You can save it for later or share it directly with students. Once you tap save it for later, you'll want to access your activity library to find those. And then from here again, tap view to assign to students. When you're ready to start creating your own, you're going to tap the plus sign, give your activity a name, type in any instructions. One of the things you might have noticed that in the pre-made instructions, um, they had really nice icons built in to help students um, with the visual for, for the instructions. Those are put in with a code. So you can see here when I tap colon, add colon, and tap preview, the little green add button comes up. If you're interested in adding those codes, codes this is a resource that I found um, through the Seesaw website and their help portion um, of the website, which is filled with tons and tons of resources. From here, I can continue to add voice instructions, attach an example, or add a template for students to edit. If you'd like for students to be able to draw and record and label on top of an image, you will need to make sure that what you attach is an actual image file. Hit the green check mark, and as you can see, the students have multiple options um, for responding. If I wanted to attach, or I'm sorry, assign this to individual students, I can choose um, maybe a small group that I might have, or again, choose everyone. I have a few other options as far as when I'm going to share it, what folders it's going to be put in, and then also if I'm using the skills portion, there's some edit um, availabilities there. All right, from here, I can save for later, tap preview, or directly share it to students. So this activity has been shared. I can tap on my activities tab to see what has been shared with students. This activities tab is also where the students are gonna log in to um, complete those activities. If you create an activity that you would like to share, you can always get the activity link to share out with your colleagues. And it's really as, as easy as that. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow us by clicking on the links below in the description. Thank you.